On December 16, 2012, a 23-year-old woman was gang-raped and brutalized by six men on a bus in New Delhi. The news shocked the nation. Tens of thousands of protesters took to the streets in several cities. Debates on women's safety raged across hundreds of news channels, newspapers and social media. Everyone had opinions. Pepper spray, safety pins, capital punishment. Thirteen days later, she died as a result of the injury she sustained during the attack. The judge termed it the rarest of rare categories when he awarded the death sentence to the accused. Any of this stopped the atrocities against women? On August 22, 2013, a photojournalist who was interning with an English magazine in Mumbai was gang-raped by five people, including a juvenile. The answer is an unfortunate no. According to the findings of a poll conducted by Thomson Reuters in 2011, India is the fourth most dangerous country in the world for women. So what could Radio Mango do when other radio stations were going crazy handing out pepper sprays and whistles in their hampers? It isn't just about making things safer for women. It's about rooting out the cause of sexual abuse in all its forms. It's about changing a mindset. It's about creating a future that is respectful of women, not just safer for women. It's about how you raise your children. And we at Radio Mango are asking, are you teaching your children the right things? Pythagoras theorem. Um, <laughs> 